everyone and welcome to another One Thing You Should Know About Me video. This one thing you should know about me is that I love coffee. So this is my kitchen. So I haven't always loved coffee. I think I started drinking mochas, you know, like a cappuccino with chocolate syrup in it. Anything with chocolate's pretty much awesome. When we were on an urban school camp. And I had a sip of my friend's mocha and from there I've kind of been like all about the coffee. <laughs> I mainly love to go out and buy coffee. I think it's delicious when someone else makes it. So I also make coffee at home. This is one of my favorites. It's quite strong, it's two out of three, and it's pre-ground coffee, so I can make it in my plunger. Coffee for one. Um, another one of my favorites is by Gloria Jeans. It is a caramel blend, so it's a little bit sweeter. So this coffee is for, fl for flunger. For flunger and pilter. It's also a medium roast, so I like my coffee quite strong. And sometimes I will also have some decaf. This is by Clippers, also a medium blend. And yeah, that's better for like later at night when I still feel like coffee, but do not need the caffeine because <laughs> I have trouble sleeping anyway. <laughs> All right, so basically what you're gonna do is get your plunger, take this thingy out, decide what coffee you want, I am going with the sweet one at the moment. I'm going to show you how to make it and get your teaspoon. So I kind of just heat the teaspoon. I don't know. I kind of just guess. But this is how I do it. This is how much one is for me. Oh, I just spilled it. Two. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put that much in. So two and a bit. Got my accurate measurements. <laughs> I'm going to get my plunger. That's what it's called. Plunger. I'm sure I've said that, but whatever. Be very careful with boiling water, by the way. Probably best to like lean it on a bench, but you can't see my bench, so I'ma hold it for you. Thankfully, this kettle doesn't leak and burn my toes. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it just above that silver band there, and then I'll get my lid and plungy thing, and you just rest it on top for the minute, and you let that brew for about two to three minutes. I think that's what it says. That's what I do. So I just came back from charging my battery because it died. And that means that my coffee is definitely brewed. Wow, look how pretty it is. So now very carefully, again, you should probably have it on a bench, but just push it really gently. Because I've used more than the recommended amount of coffee, it's going to be a bit harder. That's not too bad. Just push it really gently until it goes all the way to the bottom. Yay, so now it's brewed and you can pour yourself your delicious coffee. Um, I always hold the lid on because it's fallen off on me a couple of times and that's not really fun. So, coffee, ow, oh, you're splashing me and I still love you. Let's do it on an angle. Yay, that, oh no, coffee on my top. Good thing I'm wearing white. So I'm having a bit of camera drama. Um, the battery's dying, memory's filling up. Hope you've enjoyed watching me make my coffee, spill my coffee, and talk about loving coffee. Remember to give this video a like if you liked it, and click subscribe if you want to see a couple more of these videos, because I'll be putting out a couple out each week now. Not sure for how long, but regularly I got videos uploading, so click that button, yo. Okay, so I think the coffee's kicking in now because I kind of can't stand still, which means I'm gonna go! So, um, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Until next time, remember to drink good coffee and read good books, and I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs> okay, you might wanna stop the camera.